Okay, John the Van Guy. A new, un, well, it's John the Lou Guy uh, today. Uh, unusual um, job. Thought I'd try and fit a Japanese Lou. Uh, this is the brook pad, um, and those are the controls. Um, it's all kind of Bluetooth, so you just stick that on the wall. And I just thought I'd quickly go through with you how difficult these things are to fit. And also, a way around some of the issues anybody getting one of these um, might have. It's just to be aware of it. Right, this is the loo. And works great, I'm very pleased with it. Um, not that difficult to fit. What you have to do, when you get all the details, you get a, like a, a T-piece, which is to be able to, and a long flexible tube, which can actually help you. You can actually... Uh, fitted in with the existing system it was quite easy for me I was able to turn off just here the water supply and put the T the T actually linked into the bottom of the system and then screw in so that wasn't too difficult uh, they also supplied if you in a, um, a chalky area it's good to have an iron filter on apparently um, take out the uh, all the calcium carb um, otherwise you'll probably get limed up eventually so so with this item there's various controls on it and you can do wash is very good um, and there's a pressure sensor in the seat you can have a heated seat and um, it's actually this one hasn't got the blow dry in it a uh, little tube comes out here I won't demonstrate it because it's got to come out and then the nozzle squirts up so that's fun now that's fine. Now you've got to actually wire it into the mains somehow. I actually you, I wired it through to, um, it comes with a two pin plug. I wired it actually through, took it through this trunking, took it away along under the bath and I found uh, a fuse socket in the airing cupboard which is just here. It's, it hasn't been used actually, it was used for something else originally. So I've just wired everything through to that. So you've got a 13 amp fuse away from the bathroom in there. So it can be done. If you can find a way of drilling through your wall, linking to an external, to a socket in one of the other rooms. Um, and I've used uh, to actually link, I've cut the two pin plug off and um, used a junction box to, to actually link the wires. Um, so I, That's right, what's happening here? Keep trying my phone. Right, um, so now one of the issues which I've had to get round is the fact that the seat, on the design of this particular system, there's a sloping piece at the back here. I don't know if you can see it. So you can't get the actual, when you fit it, it comes with a, a mounting place. When you actually fit it and slide it on, you can't get it far enough back uh, so the top of the uh, actually shows so what I've done that down there actually it's just a bit of the stuff I've been using it's not anything unmentionable right now I'll show you how this there's a clip on the side here just here you push that in and then you can slide the whole unit off and I'll, I'll show you what I've done I'll just put this down a minute So, sliding the whole unit off. That's the mounting plate. It comes with these two metal strips um, and some screws to actually screw in. It also comes with these uh, rubber uh, push fit uh, screw holders, which actually, the, the secret is really just to put your screw in the top of one of the screw holders, just into the top, then push it in. It will actually go into the hole uh, available. Um, and then you can push the screw fully in uh, or screw it fully in. Now I found because of this bend and other people will come across this and the distance here there was a problem because of the bend so I couldn't get this unit to sit straight. Anyway, it, it, long and short of it is these are the lugs which actually hold the seat in place. You have to have the arrow basing away from the toilet, that's, that's one clue. 
uh, one thing to do. Now, so what, what, what actually happened, I was forcing it so much that these lugs broke off. So I ordered another one. One of these plates ends up costing you with postage about, about £20, only plastic. Um, so what I've done, actually, I've put the old plate underneath, which is the broken one, put the other one on top uh, and repositioned it. I was able to push the mounting plate, because I've raised it slightly, further back into the system holder. And by pushing it further back into the system holder, it's raised the whole thing and allows me to push the whole thing forward. So now the actual seat fits the bowl much better than it did. I could probably get it slightly better, but I'm quite happy with that, actually. Um, then, then all you do is slide it back on and click it in. You slide on and then do a click. I'll try and do that. I can't, don't think I can do this while I'm... So let me see. So you place it on. Oh, yeah, it's going to go in. Stay. Oh. That's it. Hear the click? So it's on. So it's on. And now it's much better position uh, than it was before. What's quite nice about it, if you press the plus on here, um, you've got a purple light. For three, three seconds, you get this purple light, which is nice. It's quite nice to have. You can leave that on. Uh, you don't have to have the, the warm toilet seat. Water actually goes through this toilet seat as well. And you can have the temperature what you want. You can actually position the actual rod, the control position, any anywhere you want, uh, and the power going through. So it's standard wash, B-day, intensity, do about 60, 60 seconds on each one, if you want that. It's very controllable, and the water temperature is about three different settings for the water temperature, and the seat temperature, you can have them off if you don't want the water temp on. And so that's it. Very pleased, works very well, and you'll never look back.